distinguishable. This is not a cop found guilty of murder for using his knee to pin down a person for nine and a half minutes as he gasped for air. This is not a cop found guilty of manslaughter for intentionally drawing his firearm and shooting across his partner and killing an unarmed woman who approached his squad. This is a cop who made a tragic mistake. She drew her firearm thinking it was a taser and ended up killing a young man. Ms. Potter, will you please rise? Given all these considerations and having carefully considered the comments of the family and of both Dante Wright and the comments of Kimberly Potter, as well as the arguments of counsel. It is the sentence and judgment of this court that you shall be committed to the custody of the Commissioner of Corrections for a period of 24 months. You shall serve two thirds of that time or 16 months in prison and a third on supervised release, assuming no disciplinary, disciplinary offenses or conditional release violations. You have credit for 58 days already served. Restitution will be reserved. There'll be a fine of $1,000 and a surcharge of $78 to be taken out of prison wages or due within 180 days. You must provide a DNA sample. You may not use or possess any firearms, ammunition, or explosives. You have the right to appeal the conviction and sentence. If you are unable to pay the cost of, a, of an appeal, you may apply for leave to appeal at state expense by contacting the state public defender. You may be seated, Ms. Potter. I'd like to make a few parting comments. I recognize there will be those who disagree with the sentence that I granted a significant downward departure does not in any way diminish Dante Wright's life. His life mattered. And to those who disagree and feel a longer prison sentence is appropriate, as difficult as it may be, please try to empathize with Ms. Potter's situation. As President Barack Obama once said, learning to stand in somebody else's shoes, to see through their eyes, that's how peace begins. And it's up to you to make that happen. Empathy is a quality of character that can change the world. Officer Kimberly Potter was trying to do the right thing. Of all the jobs in public service, police officers have the most difficult one. They must make snap decisions under tense, evolving, and ever-changing circumstances. They risk their lives every single day in public service. Officer Potter made a mistake that ended tragically. She never intended to hurt anyone. 
Her conduct cries out for a sentence significantly below the gun.